anatomy of the popliteal fossa. The popliteal fossa is a shallow depression located at the back of the knee joint. The popliteal fossa is bounded by the biceps femoris superiorly and laterally. The biceps femoris is inserted into the fibular head, so it is a lateral structure. The superior medial boundary of the popliteal fossa is the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. They are part of the pes anserinus that inserted medially on the tibia, so they are medial structures. The inferior and medial boundary of the space is made by the medial head of the gastrocnemius. The inferior and lateral boundary of the space is made by the lateral head of the gastrocnemius and the plantaris. The floor of the popliteal fossa is formed by the popliteal surface of the femur, the capsule of the knee joint, the oblique popliteal ligament, and the strong fascia covering the popliteus muscle. Structures within the popliteal fossa are the following from medial to lateral. The popliteal artery, the popliteal vein, and the small saphenous vein, the tibial nerve. The common perineal nerve runs across the upper lateral border of the fossa. Posteriorly, the skin and the deep popliteal fascia forms the roof of the popliteal fossa. Baker's cyst is an interesting clinical entity of the popliteal fossa. The Baker's cyst lies between the semimembranosus and the medial gastrocnemius. The Baker's cyst is commonly caused by knee arthritis or meniscal tear. The cyst is connected to the knee joint through a valvular opening. Knee effusion from the intraarticular pathology allows the fluid to go through the valve to the cyst in one direction. Another entity that could be of special interest and it is connected to the popliteal fossa is the posteromedial fracture of the tibial plateau. This fracture must be recognized. And if you see it and it is displaced, you need to fix that fracture. You may use two incisions. One for the lateral plateau fracture using a lateral plate. And the other incision, a separate one, is for the posteromedial fragment. And you will use posteromedial plate. That posteromedial incision will be placed between the semimembranosus and the medial head of the gastrocnemius. It is the same location of the Baker's cyst. As you can see from this diagram, the medial gastrocnemius is protecting the neurovascular structures. You will identify the medial gastrocnemius by its location and also being a big muscle. This is the anatomical location of the fragment, and this is the approach between the semimembranosus and the medial gastrocnemius. You can see that the neurovascular structures are lateral to the medial gastrocnemius. And this is the plate fixation posteromedially through that incision. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.